What's going on, Miller Moose? How you doing tonight, buddy? I understand that, buddy. It will get better. Let's see if we can try and get the game working here now. I'm doing all right. We uh, back here on Green River Valley tonight. Try to get some trees cut down. Got some sleep again last night, so we're doing all right. You bright, you priced together a beast of a PC. Nice. cut down today we got to get these rest of these trees out of our way I think we're going to let's get this big one out of our way here now you got the ads I see Get our lights on. You're back. Nice. So what kind of PC are you looking at? Oh, that didn't work very well. Come on. This is how we're going to start already today. building it yourself cool that's what I did in mine I never built a computer in my life and watched a bunch of uh, videos on YouTube there and had a buddy that actually has building computers so it actually uh, he helped me out a little bit but I did most of it though my myself 2300 some some odd dollars for everything including a monitor nice what um what graphics card are you going with? A 3080 Ti GPU with Intel CPU. Nice. Yeah, I think I have a 3060 Ti. And I'm glad I went with that. I switched it. I had a 10... A 1050. And I went from a 1050 to a 3060. Which... Tell you it makes a big difference, and it barely cost me anything for it. Ah, these trees, they're gonna kill me today. 1000 watt power supply. Holy crap, do you need that much? See, I went on parts, uh, it was a PC part picker. That's where I went and put everything in there and it tells you like what is compatible and all that kind of stuff. And then we went and bought it. Uh, I ended up buying all mine through Walmart. So what's the, what did it say for the CPU? The Intel CPU, which, uh, so what size uh, CPU did you get? I'm trying to trying to adjust the microphone here. Is it must be pretty huge if you're. You need that big of a power supply. 
I mean, I'm, I'm not I'm a professional in building computers, so. Because I think I have a Ryzen 5. I, I wanted to get a bigger one, but after looking at the prices, I'm like, I'm not spending that much money on them yet. You DM me the list. Oh, okay, cool. I'll take a look at it. Let's, well, actually, let's take a look at it real quick. Let me, um, let me go into the discords. Um, I didn't see the message unless you put it on, unless you put it on, uh, oh wait, here it is. Intel i5, 10 core. So is it Intel, I can't make it bigger. How do I make it bigger? I can't tell if it's a i5. Looks like an i5. I have to look at it later when I can get a little bit bigger. Uh, pull it up on the bigger screen here. Um, well, that sounds cool though. How long until you're going to be putting it together? Change, change something with this microphone. No, I'm not hearing. There we go. Let's get this one over here. Yeah, I was going to ask you, uh, by, way, by the way, uh, got to get the money for the build first. Yeah, um, I was on your Discord just before I started here and noticed like everything is locked. Is it, do I have to, um, do I have to like accept a rule or something? Because I looked on your rules, it didn't have any little icon or anything to accept. Or is it just you have everything locked still? It's all unlocked now. Okay. Yeah, it was just on, like I said, just before we started because I was trying to look up uh, one of my other buddies that I've been watching and I wanted to join his Discord because he has a lot of SnowRunner and uh, they were talking about doing like a big thing for uh, multiplayer this weekend, possibly. So I wanted to see about joining in. A huge fight broke out, so I had to lock everything down. <sighs> the pains of people. People just can't get along, can they? Yeah, I see quite a few messages come through on uh, on my phone when that you know people must be talking on yours, but I, I didn't. I haven't read like all of it. I did see a couple things going on. I tend to stay out of all that stuff, though. You wouldn't recommend reading it? <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I saw one thing where someone told me to F off or whatever, and I'm just like, okay, yeah, I don't need to read that. Come on, we gotta get this tree picked up. Okay, still having problems with these trees shooting all over the place. And again, I think it's because 
FDR updated his map, but I didn't want to update it because I'm afraid I'm going to lose the progress I already have, and I, can't, I haven't gotten a straight answer from anybody whether or not you will. If you just update it and you'd be able to, you know, it doesn't erase all the progress you already did, then I would update it, but... Apparently they were supposed to give higher weights to the trees so they seem more realistic and stuff, but um, I'm not going to update. I'm one of them people that I don't like when you lose your progress. See, we're barely hanging into that tree. Piles are looking like crap over here. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's get these couple of trees on the left. Or the right, I mean. Not a problem, Miller. Nice seeing you again. And take it easy and let me know if you need anything other than the lottery because I can't help with that but you have yourself a nice evening buddy Really should try to get this tree picked up, but I think this is one of them trees that just like to fly around on us. Just got a mess of trees all over the place again. Yeah, this one's not going to want to get picked up again. I've just been grinding these ones up if I can't get them picked up for some reason. Let's see if we can get it put in our pile. Let's see where we're at here. There are quite a few still left over here. We can get that little section over here to the right. I mean, we can get it looking a little better here. We got trees like mixed all over in here. I 
one tree that fell and then we can't get it out of our way. Come around the other side here and see if we can get around this tree that's in the middle of our area. It's going to fly all over on us. Let's see if I can get it off of our buncher. Looks like it's stuck in the other tree. Come on. Like, won't get off of there. Any other time it would fly across the map, but this one, it's stuck in our tree. Now we lost both of them. Ah, oh boy. If it ends up being like one of these kind of nights, then we might switch back to SnowRunner. I'm not really feeling it today, but I want to get some trees cut. I just don't want all this um, hassle going on with shit flying everywhere. I think I picked up one too many. need to start another pile our piles are getting too big swing it around over here I don't know what's going on with this game particularly, but I keep hearing like a little popping sounds. And I don't know if it's something to do with the microphone or if it's something to do with the game, but I'm only, I only hear it on this game.
Do you guys hear it at all? Like, I'm not hearing it right now, but I was hearing it just a second ago. Get these couple trees out of here, then we'll have all of them down right in this section, then try and get some of them processed, get them into our pile. Eventually, we're going to have to start selling some of these. Looks like we got two more left in there. Let's see if I can fish them out of here. Let's see if I can get this one picked up real quick. See, look at that. Just jumps around like that. I need to ask FDR if, for sure if I lose progress if I update this map or not. Once I get the answer, then I can update this thing and not worry about it anymore, but... I said I just don't want to lose the progress. Because as soon as we get this area cut out, that's when I was planning on making this area like an area where we could sell our wood chips and sell our wood and any grains or whatever we do with the farm here. But if I update it and we lose the whole progress, then I'll be mad. Oops. That one was my fault. Alright. Let's get out of here. and really should probably process some of these. Because we got quite a bit of trees down here. Let's get it over here to our next section. Hopefully we can get this cleaned up and and then actually have a decent landing because we got trees going in every, every direction and it's just going crazy here. Let me get these two right here. this is going to be difficult to process with trees going every which way we'll get our buncher over here to the trees and get it out of the way and then we'll get into our processor We can start from scratch getting this getting this back in order here all right let's jump out find our processor there it is If 
Like, do you hear that popping sound at all? It's a very faint, like, popping. I don't know if it's the engine sounds. I know I'm hearing it. Are we on the wrong side of the trees here? Yeah, it looks like it. Grab the side, this side here first, and then we'll go over to the other side. Really need to get a bulldozer so we can straighten all this stuff up. I think, yeah, we were still cutting them at tens. swing them around this way here kind of keep them straight to our pile as much as possible Drag them over here to the end so we can keep them in line. It almost looks like the processors not laying straight either like it's crooked see let's see let's hit G and see if it can if it'll straighten up or not see when I lower it down it should be straight I know I updated all the machines. It's just weird. Makes it difficult to pick up a tree when it's leaning like that. something here real quick Come on, get in there. It's 
watching one of my buddies play uh, American Truck Simulator. He was driving around in Montana. Which I don't have that DLC just yet. Looked pretty nice though. They did a nice job on the on the map. tree or one log that we were going to get out of that and apparently we had two on there. Right, we got a nice pile right here. Let's see if we can get this all cut up. I think we got two of them in there. Yep, we do. It's really throwing me off with this processor not laying flat. I don't know if maybe I should restart the game. Maybe it's just like a weird glitch right yet. just work with it for right now if it gets worse then definitely try to restart the game maybe see if that'll help it never seen it do that before though It's just like making it difficult to pick up a tree when it's leaning like that. Maybe we should try and restart it because this is annoying. Hopefully that fixes it. I don't know. Yeah, it's already almost 11 o'clock. We did get started a little bit late today, though. Look, I was noticing even before... When I was trying to tab to each vehicle, it was like kind of freezing up or doing something weird. Still looks like it's leaning. 
and even if I hit like the G button, it's not doing anything for it. Usually you can move to the machine, but because FDR moved all his machines, that um, so the processor you can't take the processor head off and put a, something else on it. It, there's nothing I can do with it, but it's It should be leaning flat when you're like down here like this. It should be laying flat Not angled like that wonder if I should just buy another processor and see if it's because we had even though we updated the processor we didn't buy a new machine I don't know if that would help it or not you gotta go into that desk screen where's the other one at See if we tab into the new one. See, it's leaning too. Should be. Well, there it goes. It's laying a little bit flatter here. I don't know if I can get the AI guy to drive it over to our area or not. Um, let's see if I jump out of the machine. Is it this one? No, it's this one here. Set a destination. I don't see him moving anywhere. I don't know why the AI driver won't drive him. Let's see if I move him out of the area a little bit. So set a destination. I don't think it wants to run across the water is the problem. So now he's moving. Once we get him at least to the water, then I'll have him I'll run across the water there, and then I'll get him to move across to our landing. Maybe see if we'll try this one here. We'll sell the other processor. We got too many machines on here. All right, we'll start. Wor we'll keep working with this one until it gets there. And 
Of course, our buncher is going to be in the way here. I should jump out and move that thing real quick. We had two trees in that one. Although I've noticed that it, it'll shoot the tree out a little bit and then you can bring it back. Let's see if we can try and get it back. Nope, I dropped it. We're getting rusty at our cutting, that's for sure. Yeah, this is really getting annoying. We're having problems even picking this one up. Let's see where our AI guy is at. Oh, he's still moving. At least we got that working today. For some reason, I have not been able to get that, the driver to actually move our equipment around sometimes. So we probably won't be streaming at all this weekend. Um, I got one computer desk I gotta tear apart and bring back down bring downstairs where my computer's at. And another computer desk to put together. It's in three separate boxes, three hundred pounds. So I think I'm gonna be pretty busy this weekend. I was gonna try, I'll try and put some of it together today because I get off work early today. So if I can get a couple pieces put together, but I need to get the other one tore, tore apart so I can bring it downstairs so we have room to put the other one in there. Uh, my wife needed something to actually work with at the house here. She's been normally just doing it on the couch and it's starting to create problems. So we're gonna, she bought a new desk and I get to put it together. Come on. So hopefully I'll be able to put all that together by the, between Saturday and Sunday and the rest, you know, today and tomorrow. Then we can be back in action for Monday. If 
but I might still actually stream in early in the morning when I'm when she's still sleeping depending on if I have the energy I'd like to get uh, some more missions done in SnowRunner we got one that we're working on right now that I haven't I managed to get a couple people well we had to deliver five storage containers or something like that um, up to the, the, the observatory and we managed to get three of them and we got a trailer with the other two that's stuck in the woods that we managed to get up close enough to it but it's means been proving to be quite the challenging of a map come on see it's not even holding the tree properly in the processor here where's our AI guy at all right he's almost at the water here let's um I think we gotta go into this one here enter vehicle Once he gets done here, should be done in a second. There he is. Now we can take it across the water and he can. Is he going the wrong way though? Which way is he going? Alright, no, I thought that was our, gr our garage in the background there, but it isn't. So they don't like crossing the water or any type of water. So once we get them across here, we should be able to get them to get to our landing. All right, let's see if we can get a mech finished off here. Set destination. And he's not moving. Do I gotta be jumped out of the machine too? See, now he's still moving, not moving again. What did it say? Did it say there was an issue with it? Now he's moving. All right. I don't know, maybe the processor will be better. It looked like at least it was laying flat, so. Maybe I should have had a rebuy all the equipment after I updated the equipment. I just wish I could see the damn tracks. I can't stand that. Like we're looking down more. Yeah, we got two trees in there. At least our pile's looking halfway decent. I'm hearing their other machine in the background here somewhere. Oh, 
Oh, there he is over there. There goes my alarm. All right, we'll get this tree picked up. Get that other processor out here. I'll try that one out and see if it works better. Let's get my coffee turned on real quick. Seems like a good time for a break anyways. Yeah, so you won't even grab that tree properly. This one out of the way and get into the other one and sell this one hopefully we sell the right one now because we got it doesn't really tell you which one you're selling Get this one in position and then we'll uh get our coffee turned back on and then we'll get up get rolling again. Let's see if I grab this tree while we're here. Get it over into our pile. Yeah, it definitely is seeming like it's working better. Set it to 10. All right, let's go get our coffee turned on and we'll be right back here, guys. All right, we're back. All right, let's see where our piles are at here. I think we're gonna have to move over onto the other side and get those ones cut. Try and get all this straightened up here. This is a mess of a pile. I'm way better than this. This should not be like this. Let's 
see if we can get this all fixed up and then have some proper piles. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot stand spiders. I was dealing with tons of spiders all day yesterday. Started off with the dog found one in the house, so I had to get that one. Then I came downstairs yesterday, went to go turn the coffee back on, and there was like a centipede walking around in the basement. Then I get to the work and there was this huge spider hanging off the side mirror of my truck then I found this other bug <clears throat> that was um, crawling around by my steering wheel in the truck I'm like geez Louise I can't stand spiders they're fine if they stay outside but when they get inside or in my truck man I can't stand it I don't know how many times I've been driving all of a sudden a spider come dropping down just in front of my head but yeah, <clears throat> it was driving me nuts yesterday and then of course we had another spider just before I started that was upstairs and it's not like we keep the windows open or anything like that. It's been pretty hot in Michigan. But, damn, it's driving me nuts. And the one was huge, man. This thing had, it must have had babies or something, man, because it was, it was massive. And then I'm walking through spider webs in between the trucks. I'm like, Gee. And the whole day you feel like a spider's crawling all over you. There, we got that a little bit more straightened up. Let's see if we can get this all straightened up here. Starting to get back in order here. Man, was that a mess we started with? <clears throat> Move a little closer here. Let's see if we can grab these couple right here too. Now it seems like this Danglehead processor is at least appearing to be working properly. Maybe that's what it was. It was just that we, even though we updated the machines, I never went and bought brand new machines. And so we were still using like the old version of the processor. Cause this one does seem like it's working the right way. Just making it really difficult to pick up a tree or anything because it was leaning
Starting to make some progress here. And we're a little far from our pile. Really want to try and get a little bit closer up here. Hope that means that we're not going to have to rebuy all of our machines again. If that's the case, then might have to do that tonight when I get home and rebuy them and then bring them all to the landing so we don't have to transport everything again. I need to get our music bag working again. Need some background noise. Let's see if I can push these straight. See now we're a little too far from them. I need to make our piles a little bit smaller. You get too many trees like this, it definitely makes it difficult to pick them up. We were just on a cutting frenzy. Last time we were on here, we were just putting them everywhere and not really planning this out as good as I should have. It's not until we process them that we start finding out our issues. That there's too many trees in the pile. And I don't normally like turning the tree when I'm cutting it. So then you get all the branches sitting there in the windshield. But our pile is so off. I'm trying to keep everything as straight as possible so that we go to load them all up. They're all in this pretty much right in a row.
Yeah, we got way too many trees in this pile. Slowly but surely, we're getting them cleaned up, though. I'd be actually glad to get done with this whole area here and get some... somewhere where we can get our wood chips sold and figure out what we need to get our grain put in a silo or something. I can't even remember. I think we did wheat again on this map, and then on the other map we were doing, we had barley. So we need to find what we need to get for to store those. Though I'd like to sell it. I don't know. If, I don't know if it's selling it or storing it that would. When you put them in silos, I think it's just storing it, but I don't know what you... I'm, I'm not sure what you do with it afterwards. I'd like to just get a selling point so we get money for it. But I don't know too much about the farming aspect of the game. This one's backwards. Got another tree in our way. Should be almost about it. Yeah, two more left. Wonder if our other machine might work good. I'm trying to get all this wood stacked up in a nice pile and I used uh, our loader to kind of just push them around, but it kind of jacked up the pile. I'm wondering if that other forklift thing that we got, if that would be better to kind of push them. Might try to get our guy to bring it over here, or our AI guy. All right, let's see what we got here. Got one more over here that's needs to be picked up. Either that or get a a 
bulldozer just so we could push them into the pile. See, like when I'm outside the cab is when I'm hearing that weird sound. It's like a stopping and starting of the game sounds. I think we got all of them except for them couple that are all over the place here. I'm gonna try, let's try this. Let's get into this area here. Let's see if we can get our, I don't think it's that one. It's this one right here. Let's set a destination. See if we can get him to bring this thing over to us if he doesn't get stuck. He's, looks like he's making it through there. This guy should be a little bit quicker because that forklift there, the thing seems to be moving a lot better than our uh, processor. So it looks like our filter, let's see which way is it. Green is growing still. So he's still, our stuff is still growing at least. All right, let's get processor moved out of the way and we'll get into our, our wood chipper thingy. and uh, get all these little bits cleaned up before the we get our other machine over here. And then maybe we can see if we can push all that stuff out of the way. So I can push it into the pile. Still got a couple stumps we gotta clean up here. All right, let's jump out of here. Let's get our loader out of the way too because that's where we're going to push all our trees at here which way are we pointing all right so this way my hope is to push them all into this big pile right here So we're getting our wood chipper, let's get this cleaned up a little bit here and then see where, our, let's actually let's see where our guy is at. He's almost there. Let's see if we can get all these little bits cleaned up a little bit and then get in our process or get in that let's get this one here let's see if we can push all these logs into our pile oops we're gonna lose our trees get this cleaned up a little bit
We should actually try FDR's grinder, but he's, his grinder doesn't do wood chips. I'm just going to get rid of these trees here because they're already causing us troubles. If his did, he don't really deal with wood chips at all. I like selling them because I like our little selling ramp that we got. Why is it jumping like this? And we just got too many trees on the ground. Come on, get that stump. All right, we got that one. All right, let's get her into the... into a vehicle. Now, which way is he pointing here? Get him across this bridge here. My hope is that this thing will push push the rest of the logs as far as we can. Well, let's see, we may just drive this thing. This thing's really dropping frames. It was at 30 and now it's going down at like 26 and stuff. I think we got too many trees on the ground here. not liking all this uh oh are we stuck on something here be able to push them. Oh, we got a stump right there. I need to change the key the key binds for this thing because it definitely doesn't seem like it's not really in the right settings the way I like it. It's down. Must have a couple tree stumps right there. Let me try the other area, see if we can push these ones.
I've got a tree stump right in the middle of the, this pile too. Sense all over the place, that's what the problem is. That one was a little bit better grab there. Let's see if we can get another grab. Well, that's a little bit better. go with that tree. I'm 
I guess it wants to stay in there. Alright, I'll just leave it. all these tree stumps and <clears throat> little bits that were rolling over and it's making it a lot difficult here. See, I don't want to let go of it. weird. There it goes. I haven't used this this uh, front loader here all that much so it's a little tricky. And I'm not really liking the key binds that I have set up for up and down, open and close. Probably I need to adjust these a little bit. Come on, get in there. I wonder if these things have, no, it doesn't have a strap on it. Probably be a lot easier if we had nice clear by you know f flooring here. Keep running over all the stumps and tree bits. Let's see if we can grab these. they're not jumping out of here with all this bouncing around we're doing
Yeah, I think we reached the limit of our height here. Let's try to pick them up and put them on top of each other a little bit. I do like this front loader and uh, I think they call this the uh, what was this thing called uh, the front claw or the, was it the jaw claw or something like that it's been a while since I bought it It is doing its job, that's for sure. And I like that they're not falling out of there as we're bouncing around like this. That's what it's called, the timber jaw. It was by um, the farm sim game, someone in there that made this. also made something where the so the forklift doesn't tip over with these long logs and put more weight on the machine otherwise this thing would probably just be tipping over the little jaw thing moves a little slow though Like, I'd like it to move a little bit faster. See how slow that's moving? And I think I would rather have not have that, um, the name of the machine right in the front there because it's blocking our view for the, the jaw too, but it definitely is doing its job. This would move a little bit faster, I think would be nice. It's actually helping out quite a bit moving these uh moving these around. We only got a few left here get these picked up and then we'll finish cleaning up our area with the stumps one thing I don't like is if you put the if you put the thing down too far it won't let you turn so I know there's a stump right there but they should have like a spot where it just it only goes so far down See how it's like pushing our front end up? And then it prevents you from steering. Let's see if it'll hang on to these because we're not really in the center. Oh, there they go sliding a little bit. set them down and we'll get it more in the middle
Let's see if it'll pull it in. Nope. Yeah, I think if I try to move the claw out, it'll push that last one off. Definitely would take a little bit getting used to this thing. Let's see if we put that up. Definitely don't want to push all these. That's all right. At least I got got everything over here. So. I'm liking it, just have to get used to it a little bit more. I'd like to try to actually use this to load the trucks. I like that it's getting dirty too. Heat having clean machines. All right, let's shut her down and see if we can get back in our Grinder, wherever we left it, where we leave that thing at. Oh, there it is over here. Forgot to turn it off, too. See if we can get the rest of these bits all cleaned up. And this thing, I don't like. It takes forever to get the, the stumps ground, but I do like this machine because it gives us wood chips. up thing moves really fast though so you steer a little bit and it really turns it pretty quick either that or I'm just a little heavy on the fuel pedal here some of these stumps up too. Let's 
some of them are just so stubborn. We're not even 40%, well, just 40% on uh, how much we've gotten in here. We've been using this the whole time. I think the capacity on this thing's a little, a little bit high. I can't remember when we bought it though, if you can actually change how much capacity that this thing will hold, make it more real. I think that looks like it's cleaned up quite a bit. I have a couple stumps still laying around here. There's one right there. I think that looks pretty good already. I should get back to cutting now. Let's get this out of the way. What do we hit? Yeah, there's another stump right here.
more we get cleaned up now, the better it'll be. And we actually get making this more of a uh, um, selling point area. All right, it looks good enough for me. All right, let's see if we can get a couple more trees done before we gotta go. Oh shoot, it's already 12, 12. Well, at least we got, we got that all cleaned up and got our logs in somewhat of a good area here. Got quite a few logs up here. We need to sell some of these next time. If I had a bulldozer, we'd get these all straightened up. Probably should get one. Which one is it? Let's see. I don't know if it's still under forestry, if we got one that's already downloaded. I don't think so. We need what are they called? No, we don't want that. We might have to download one. I think it'd be a caterpillar. We don't even see any caterpillars in here. Well, we'll just end it for today for that. I uh, appreciate everybody hanging out and at least we got something done today. Get this all cleaned up. See if we can get the rest of these trees cut down. And the next one and then then we'll start painting all this up and getting it uh, some type of selling point set up here and get an area for our wood chips and selling our logs. Sooner or later, hopefully our field will be ready. How much further along are we? Oh, crap, there goes my alarm. Um, I don't know how to tell. Is it 73%? Is it ready or I can't tell but sooner or later hopefully this will be ready to harvest and then we can uh, get that all picked up and then sooner or later I don't know if we still still couldn't find our dog the last time we were in here our dog went missing I think he ran away because we hadn't been feeding him. But usually you go right up on this and you'll be able to... Oh, R. Let's see if he shows up now. I haven't seen the dog in a while. Is that him right in there? No, that's a sheep. Yeah, the animal's health are really bad. Oh, there's our dog. Finally showed up. He must not be hungry. But anyways, well, I hope you guys all time and have a good night and we will catch up with you next time 